getting a bit more to the topic of, of today podcast, um, which is uh, a React Native testing library. Uh, it, it is a utility for, for testing React Native apps that you've been working on. Um, so um, I think you are the best person to tell everybody listening to us, what is this library doing and, and what is the case use case for it? Uh, so if you could just uh, if we could just start with a uh, very very brief introduction to how it all started mm-hmm. and 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 why I should choose that library uh, um, from amongst all the others that exist in the ecosystem. Yeah. So maybe let's start what the uh, React Native Testing Library is. So yeah, the if you're familiar with uh, with React Testing Library or uh, DOM Testing Library or other testing libraries um, started by, by Kent, uh, C dots. Uh, then React Native Testing Library is like re-implementation of uh, the same APIs in the React Native realm. Um, so the difference is that we, uh, our library is not dependent on uh, DOM APIs because we don't run uh, React Native in, in DOM, we run in the, uh, in JavaScript environment with some special functions, uh, but it's it's pretty far away from from DOM, right? So uh, so we render into a custom Node.js environment, and uh, and to do that, we as as an implementation detail of the library, we don't use uh, the uh, JavaScript DOM implementations, but rather use React test render to do the stuff for us, and uh, and because we realized that using React Test Render is uh, uh, like the experience is is not so great. Like you have to wrap everything in Act. You you have to um, manipulate the instances. You can access some um, some basically implementation details of of a component. So. Um, it, it was uh, it was like doing one of the projects uh, when we were writing tests for for one of our clients we realized that uh, it's really cumbersome to to use this and we also didn't want to use Ansem uh, because it kind of encouraged you to uh, to write tests that uh, that are certain on implementation details. For example, change the state of the component. And uh, and at the time, there was really close to, uh, uh, like React was really close to release React hooks. And it turned out that all of those tests, all of those tests written in Ansem uh, would have to be rewritten, for example. So we turned, uh, we, we came up with, uh, with our own uh, set of helpers and uh, and React as a library came out at the, um, a few few months later, if I correct, if I remember correctly. So we got inspired by their APIs and uh, kind of re-implemented this. Uh, so that's the story behind the library. Okay. So if I'm getting this right, uh, the idea with uh, with the library is to focus on on not testing the internals and not depending on what's inside, but rather using those uh, those those APIs uh, that, that we refer to as queries uh, for, for for doing things. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, that's that's basically it. Uh, our uh, one of the main goals of the library is to uh, make it very hard to assert on the implementation details of the React components that you test. So we want to be as close to the um, user interactions uh, and, and user experience as possible. So the queries are, uh, uh, they allow you to, to find elements on your screen by text or by some accessibility helpers or input values, but you're not allowed to uh, manually uh, change the state of your component or, uh, or grab some uh, I don't know, find, find a specific prop or of a component and, uh, or find it by, by a name uh, and, and kind of get away with that uh, with, with your writing test. So we, we want our tests to resemble um, how the user is actually using the, the app. So 
Um, so that's the that's the main goal, and uh, and the rest is like the whole API is is a reflection of this of this idea. Uh, cool, Mike. So how about you kind of maybe give us a quick run through some examples that you have in the docs, and maybe maybe show us how these uh, things work in practice. Um, I got a I got a brief understanding of you know uh, what's going on about this React Native testing library, but because I'm more of a CTO slash manager kind of guy these days. Um, this kind of uh, run through the docs will be a uh, good for me and for those of, of our uh, listeners uh, that haven't used this library before. So uh, how about how about doing a quick uh, demo of the library? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, so this is our uh, our website. Uh, it's um, it's rendered. I mean, it's, it's it's hosted on the GitHub pages. Um, we build it with. Docuzarus library uh, from our main nice. repository, and um, I, I must say it's really a pleasure to work with Docuzarus. There is uh, almost no uh, hacking we need to do to uh, to be happy about, and it supports dark mode. So there you go. Way. That's yeah. a nice touch. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, these are like the, the goals of the library that uh, we uh, we want our tests to be maintainable, reliable, and uh, and and the app, the library is community driven. Yeah, uh, I'd so, love I'd love I'd love my tests to be community driven though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, Callstack is is like one of the leading call companies in the React Native ecosystem, and we are. Uh, um, we are proud that we can uh, support so many libraries, and uh, React Native Testing Library is is one of them. So, want to make sure that uh, um, that people see that uh, uh, the developers uh, realize that uh, the same people that work on other React Native libraries um, also work on their um, testing libraries. So, so I think I think that's. Uh, um, that's nice. And uh, here we have some introduction. If you're new to the library, uh, this, this is a, some contrived example. We, uh, I can go through it. So we can import like render and fire event uh, um, helpers from the React Native test testing library. Uh, we import our test components. We write a test. Uh, we set up some data, uh, some mocks, and and this is a crucial part. We render our component. Um, yeah. yeah it's, uh, we pass it some props that we want to test on, uh, our mocks, if you want to test on subnet. And uh, once it's rendered, it returns an object with a bunch of helpers uh, and how we call them queries. So those queries uh, are like this one, get by accessibility label. Uh, so we can find a specific accessibility label in the view hierarchy, or we can uh, find something by text. Um, and so once we have those um, queries selected, we can uh, we can call them with specific inputs. So uh, so here we, for example, want to um, find answer input by accessibility label because we we know uh, it's it's a thing and. Uh, if there's a person with, uh, if there's a user uh, with a, a voiceover or uh, uh, or similar technology uh, using our app, uh, we can be sure that our uh, like this part of our app is accessible, uh, and uh, we embrace that in, in tests. So it's also it's sometimes hard to figure out how to grab something interactable or uh, or an image or so and then it turns out that our uh, non uh, visual users also have those problems so uh, so yeah. by focusing on uh, on restricting this API uh, we try to uh, make developers think about uh, their accessibility uh, in in their apps so now we have uh, grabbed our inputs and uh, and we can fire some events like we can change the text inside the input because uh, 
uh, the the input can uh, have the unchanged text uh, prop that uh, uh, that it respects when when the user input is uh, is inserted and uh, so so we we can use fire event um, to emulate that uh, it's uh, we can emulate any event uh, but there um, there are free um, free events that we uh, make it that are like pre uh, uh, predefined yeah so 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 the, like we uh, the, uh, how to like to nicely say it yeah uh, they're like baked in into uh, hard coded so, so, yeah yeah so so the so those events are uh, the ones that users are using uh, are most likely using which is change text which is pressing and scrolling yeah. Uh, so so yeah, so we can uh, uh, as you can see, we we find an instance that was found uh, by the by the query, uh, and we can we can make another query to to get this instance. Like in, in this case, we uh, we look for a submit text into um, inside our view hierarchy and press it as the user would yeah. do, and then we. Um, um, we check if, um, if if our unsubmit was called with specific uh, uh, specific uh, data. 